Yo, what is up, YouTube? I'm Blitz5, and today we're going to be going over the Game Plank rework that was just released in Season 5. Today is July 7th, 2015, and I've been going over the new champions and all the reworks, so I figured I would go over this one as well. I think it's pretty interesting that they're going back to Game Plank. This has been a um, rework in talks for a long time now. A lot of people have been asking for this, and I like going over and giving my opinion, so if you guys are interested in that, uh, stay along with this video. If not, I might have some other content that you guys are interested in. So so let's go through this together. I went through this before um, when I was on the train today commuting back from work. I saw it on Twitter that this was being released and um, I figured we could go through a little bit more detail here. I'm going to be skipping I'm reading a lot of the um, information here, the extra information and background behind the changes. So if you want to do this, you can check this out on LeagueLegends.com. I'll leave the description, the link to this exact page in the description below. So this is going to be the new picture of Gangplank, the new... Um, skin of him I guess rework it looks pretty cool definitely a lot more detail in all of the reworks as you can see he's his outfit is a lot more detailed you'll see some pictures coming up um, his sword is awesome and then he's peeling the orange so they had to include that and then he still has his pistol and definitely a lot more focus on detail of the face here you could see uh, what kind of person this is before definitely more like cartoonish character and now this he's definitely come to life I would say um, a little bit different than I would have pictured he looks um, a little bit his face is definitely different than the original gangplank I wonder if I could get that an image I might, I might pull that up but um, nonetheless they show his skins and I think everything looks really cool and uh, right now he definitely looks dark darker like a little bit more of a like evil kind of pirate like Blackbeard they're kind of going for that kind of look which makes sense it's the stereotypical pirate and uh, pretty sweet so let's go through down here um, obviously the reason why Gangplank is getting reworked is because he's a hybrid character. He's melee, but then he has a damage Q, a range Q, and then his ult is across the map. So he doesn't really have an exact gameplay pattern. Um, basically what a lot of people do is, who end up playing him, is they take him, they build crit, and they do tons of damage off his Q, and they basically run around immune from CC and try to assist their team across the map while um, it's hard to pretty much 1v1 them, so they'll split push because of the crit damage. So they wanted to give his game a little bit more playability, a little bit more options in a team, and also have some counterplay, which is important nowadays. But right now, to me, he looks pretty strong. So let's go through this together. So most importantly, we'll start with his abilities here. Uh, obviously, these are the biggest changes. For the most part, things are similar, but we'll start with the passive. This is different. Um, every several seconds, every several seconds, Gangplank's next melee attack ignites the target, dealing bonus true damage over time and granting a brief burst of movement speed. Destroying a powder keg instantly refreshes trial by fire. So powder keg is another his move, so we'll get that get to that in a second. So basically why this plays, um, oh, let me mute this. Every several seconds, Gangplank next melee attack ignites the target. So they don't have an exact time, several seconds. Several meaning uh, more than a couple. So several usually means at least three uh, by a technical definition, I think, of the word. So somewhere probably around that, I'm going to guess three to five seconds, somewhere in that range, this, this passive will set off. So let me just move the volume down on this. I don't want it to interrupt the video. So Q, we have Parlay, which is... Uh, similar, basically the same as it was before. Let's watch the video. His Q is just um, a point and click nuke, and this is what people have usually used with uh, Crit Plank. So Gangplank fires his pistol at a target, dealing damage and applying on him effects. If Parlay kills a unit, the shot plunders bonus gold and refunds mana. For each gold plundered, Gangplank gains a Silver Serpent, which he can use the shop to upgrade, upgrade Cannon Barrage. So Cannon Barrage is his alt, and you'll see that they have some choices in here. This mechanic of the Silver Serpent I think is weird. If they're going to put pass on the ultimate, I feel like they could have done this like a Kha'Zix alt, where you pick which one you want to go when you level it up. Um, so I think this is kind of weird. I, I They've done this a lot where they put in like the Bone Tooth ne Necklace for... Um, Rengar and then they took it out as a trinket slot and I sometimes I, I don't know where this is going to go and I don't really love that they, they add these random things into the game because it's only uh, his thing so I, I don't know if I love that uh, but I guess we'll see uh, how, how it plays out in the game it, it could be interesting then his citrus fruit uh, remove scurvy is the same basically gangplank consumes a large quantity of citrus fruit curing all disabling effects and healing him based on missing health so great ability in the top lane here with a lot of characters having slow and CC great for split pushing and staying in the fight obviously and um, you know even at the bot lane if you dare to take him there I guess so that's the same nothing to see here and then up to, so we skipped one here, the powder keg. This is the biggest change here. 
Um, we'll read the description, show you, and then I'll show you what it was before. So the powder keg, these are going to be basically like a hittable uh, Gragas barrel. But they're basically on the map until someone destroy the, destroys them. So this is um, places a powder keg that can be attacked by Gangplank or as enemies. If Gangplank destroys a keg, it explodes in an AoE blast that slows and spreads the damage of the attack to all nearby enemies. Other casks within the zone will chain explode. If the enemy destroys the cask, it diffuses the explosion on and grants gold. So obviously you could step over this kind of like a Rek'Sai um, tunnel. So let's turn down the music. You're going to see he casts this keg here. I don't know if the health automatically is that low. Um, and then he can shoot the one closest to him and it chains, chains pretty uh, decent distance there and hits TF as he's running by. So obviously if Gangplank wasn't there, TF could run over um, the barrel and get gold from it. But the issue I see with this, or I guess what they want is some play, is that you could put like three of these in a bush and hide in the bush and if someone comes in the bush, you could attack it and just pretty much blow somebody up. Attack the barrel then, parlay them, and you're going to be doing tons of damage just with building crit. I could already see that happening now as a controlling move. But in lane, I see this being less versatile if you're playing against another ranged champion because they'll be able to just kill it. Against melee champions, I think this will be useful. Um, so basically, to me, they're kind of making him really overpowered versus uh, melee champions in lane again. I know his passive um, stacks off melee attacks, so they're giving you some incentive to move forward, but I feel like if you kind of disregard that passive and you stay away and you use your powder keg and parlay, it's going to be kind of the same. So we'll see how it plays out, but to me, this seems like this could be manipulated in weird ways, depending on how much damage it's actually dealing. So onto the alt, um, pretty much the same here, cannon barrage. Signals Gangplank ship to fire waves of cannonballs at an area. Each wave deals magic damage and slows enemies. Cannon barrage can be upgraded up to three times. So you guys probably know if you play League of Legends what this looks like. Uh, usually this is across a map, um, almost, I think, global skill shot here. Um, I don't play Gangplank, so I forget if it's actually global. But um, a great move that a lot of people like using. And then now you'll be able to upgrade it to it's one of these three options. So we have Death's Daughter, which fires an initial mega, mega cannonball in the center of the area effect. Uh, raise morale, gives allies within the area additional move speed, and fire at will increases the rate of fire over the duration of Cannon Barrage. So basically you have one that's going to be doing more damage, Death's Daughter, Raise Morale, which is more of like a support ult, and Fire at Will, which just increases the rate of duration, uh, fire over the duration, so it just happens faster. So, you know, sometimes it's hard to probably move if, if you're playing with a, a quick team, team, wow, team comp, <laughs> almost flipped the words there. If you're playing against like maybe a Sivir, uh, someone who has an ultimate like that that can move away or, you know, Sivir with the Ancient Coin or someone with the Righteous Glory that's going to use it so that's moving pretty quickly, uh, Fire at Will might make that a little bit more efficient to uh, hit the enemy team so they can't dodge it. So before we move on, um, well, I guess let me just stick with the alt. So I think this is pretty much the same. I like that there's some options here because his kit doesn't involve, it was pretty boring before you were just queuing and then alting. And this gives you a lot more options and you can kind of decide how you want to play. Do you want to be melee? Um, they're really still, or, or do you want to be distance? Do you want to be more support? Do you want to be tank? To me, they're still leaving his role very much up in the open, which I think is fine. A lot of characters are like that. But to me, the rework didn't really define Gangplank as one typical character. It just gave you options to play one successfully, which really he only had one very successful option right now. Um, obviously, you could, you could always build him differently, but his most successful option was a crit plank. So going back to the powder keg, so this was his E like now. That's his E now. So I brought up the Gangplank Wikipedia, the Wikia, and... It previously was how uh, Gangplank's attack damage and movement speed are increased and, as a passive, but then when he used the active, it disabled his passive and it gave him additional damage and movement speed for seven seconds that also buffed uh, allied champions within range. So this was more of, um, I, you know, a lot of beginner players, especially me, I don't love abilities like this because other people don't know that they're active unless you're communicating over Skype or they, they, they're familiar with the champion. So a lot of like hidden passives here aren't noticeable. So it looks like, you know, giving the powder keg removes that hidden passive and it's just another playable move here. So now he has a lot of play between his Q and his E, which was necessary because before it was just a lot of queuing. Um, so right here they talk about in lane um, how he's going to be playing like I was saying with the barrels it's going to be important to set them up um, you need, you're going to need to go in for the melee attack passive so you want to stack melees to do damage so basically what you would do is melee um, it, fuck it, uh, proc the, the ignite 
and then parlay them and do a lot of damage and then back off and that's how you win a lot of trades obviously um with the cooldowns here you know it, you could be countered by someone going back all in on you after you trade or if your trade isn't that successful but obviously playing a lot of melee champions in the top lane um it is successful for gangplank to trade like this um especially if he's got some movement speed um uh, runes and, or masteries or you know early boots maybe he can go in get the melees off and then parlay as he's leaving um who knows with this kind of ability you could be you could see him play in other positions maybe uh mid sometimes you see gangplank mid now but not that much but this could move him into the mid range especially with the barrels um you know a lot of times uh, it could change the dynamic of top lane when a lot of people play these fighter champions or ranged champions in the top lane like Ryze. It, it changes the top dynamic from more of a tank meta to a fighter meta. I don't think one character has the power to do that, but sometimes you see these changes kind of move in that direction, especially after right now in Season 5, the tank meta um, was huge, and now it's kind of slowing down. So you could see an ultimate change here in the top lane. You never know. It, it definitely comes and goes with the characters. Um... So let's see. Passive is definitely very strong. Let's read. I didn't read much of that as team fighting, so let's see. So the update of his gameplay pattern solidifies Gameplay's primary role as a potent split pusher as he can contribute to meaningful team fights now across the map without having to use his um, summoner spell. That's actually I did read this before. So um, they're just giving him basically, I mean, to be honest with you, I think it's the same as it was before. He, he still could contribute to the fight. Uh, basically, they're just saying that with the uh, three different ultimates now, he can kind of choose how he wants to support from a distance, uh, which is cool. And to me, um, he just looks like a stronger, better version, better looking version of Gangplank. So I don't want to keep repeating myself here. The video is probably already long enough. So let's just get down to what he looks like. This is him. Definitely looks pretty sweet. We got a longer beard, way more detail. That's why I love that they're doing these reworks, and I'm excited for hopefully a Tarek rework soon because he visually doesn't look that great. You can't really see the details of his um, character type in the game. And then these new skins look awesome. I'm going to zoom in here. I mean, not new skins. The rework skins look so great. Uh, really like the Ghost Gangplank. forget the actual name of it. Uh, this one where he's kind of like a, a Houdini style looking like there and the commando one I don't know the actual names like I said I don't own gangplank but these skins look awesome and would definitely make me consider getting gangplank and picking up a skin because they definitely do look cool and I think it's worth their time coming out with new champions and then spending time on these reworks because it definitely gets a lot of newer players like myself interested in the older characters that seem um, out of the meta so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about Gangplank. Do you own Gangplank? Um, were you happy with him now? Are you excited for the changes? Do you think he's going to be OP? Um, do you think he'll get nerfed in the PvE with these barrel damage? I'm sure it's going to be doing a lot and it's passive. Um, let me know. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. A dislike if you didn't like it. And uh, give me some comments if you think I have any room for improvement. So, thanks for watching, guys. Blitzvot, I'm out.